Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to make our character jump, okay? Uh, I have this simple setup with a character, a simple motion, a simple walking animation and my default cube, my main cube and uh, uh, we are going to define the movement in our cube for our character but uh, not like in other tutorials I'm going to use the server control. So I'm going to define the movement in my cube like this. I'm going to add a keyboard sensor. It's going to be the walk, the walk uh, with the W key. Okay. So if I push W, my uh, my character is going to walk, and I'm going to use the motion actuator and not in simple motion. Instead, we are going to use servo control, okay? And how it works, okay, it's very simple. I have the linear, the linear, linear velocity in the three axes, X, Y, and Z. And I have here the force that make apply, that apply this velocity, okay? So my character is facing the negative uh, Y axis, this one, the green one in the negative direction. So I'm going to put here a, a negative five, a minus five uh, value, okay? And I have to push here to make, uh, uh, to say to the blender, the force is going to make reach this velocity. If uh, like is negative, I need a negative minimum value like for example, mm, negative 50, or minus 50, okay? This is a really a lower value. What happened? Let's see what happened if I push P and I push W, my uh, chart is not even moving. I have to increase this value more. Now a little bit, but it's getting faster and faster, okay, until the charter reach this velocity, the five velocity, okay? If I push, if I use a higher value, the, my charter reach this velocity uh, uh, sooner, faster, okay? And that's what I want. And I, I'm going to push here and here, that's make not to block this axis. If I lift like this, it's making my charter only move here, but for example, if I put my character like this and I push P, my character like this, well, uh, let's see, like this, for example, if I push P and I push W, my character is not walking, it's not, pardon, sorry, it's not falling. Why? Because when I push W, the Z axis is blocked, it's blocked it. So, it's not uh, moving in this axis, only when I'm not pushing. So, but if I push here and here, even if I push W, my character uh, fall in the set in the set axis. Okay, so I'm going to keep this like this, and I'm going to add a, a rotation two. I'm going to add a keyboard D, uh, DK, and and now we don't need the servo control to make a rotation, just a simple motion in the uh, negative Z, sorry. In the Z, I'm going to use minus one, negative one. Okay, like this, and like this. So if I push D, my character is turning to the right as I want. Now let's go to add the uh, left turning. Keyboard here, the AK, AK. I'm going to add an N and a motion again, a simple motion actuator now with a positive value in the rotation in this axis. Okay, one is enough. So now if I push D or A, on W, my charter is working, okay? Now, 
I want to uh, uh, reach these simple stairs or whatever you want to call it. And so I'm going to make my charter walk. Mm, sorry, jump. Okay, it's very simple. The only thing I have to use is again the uh, servo control. So I'm going to add a keyboard sensor and the spacebar key, for example. I'm going to make my character jump when I press him spacebar key. So I'm going to add a, a controller and a, again a motion actuator but a servo control okay so now i'm going to apply apply a value in the z axis so i'm going to push here 10 for example because it's the this is the jump direction the positive way uh, the positive direction of the uh, z uh, axis okay this one i'm going to push here and i'm going to uh, like it's a positive value i have to add a positive value here for example 1000 and if I push uh, space, let's see what happened. My charter stop, start to fly. Why? Because I didn't say when Blender have to finish to apply the force. So while I'm pressing space, the force is applying. So to say that, to uh, correct that, I have to uh, add a ray sensor. So in my default queue, I'm going to add a, sorry, ray sensor. Uh, the ray sensor looks to the direction where I want. I want to the my queue to check the negative Z direction. So this one. To see if I have a floor, a floor under my foot, under my feet. So uh, that's the direction and that's the uh, range is the distance, okay? So I'm going to say, for example, this distance and I'm going to use uh, a property. So the, the object the, uh, that make the floor, I'm going to add a property, a floor pro property like this, add again property and I use floor property. Why? Because I'm going to use this option in the ray sensor property. Only the ray sensor is only going to be activated for objects that have the floor property, okay? So if uh, my cube is near, this near, this distance to the something like a floor property and I'm pressing the jump key, then I'm going to apply the force. This means that uh, when it's uh, high enough and the uh, ray sensor is turned off, uh, the force is stopping to apply, okay? It's not going to apply anymore. So let's see what happened. If I push space, nothing happened because maybe the distance is too low or I can use a low distance if I uh, increase the force value. I'm going to use, for example, um, 0 0.8 and that's what happened. I have this jump, okay? And um, I have a problem if you want to see this like a problem. My character can walk in the air, okay? Now I can jump my obstacles, my stairs, or whatever you want to call it, but I have two problems. Oh, no, not yet. Okay, one problem, if you want to see that like this, like a problem, is that my character can walk in the air, okay? We can solve this, or we can live like this, whatever you want, uh, your gameplay act. And I have another, uh, no, not yet, okay. Uh, if I don't want my charter work while I'm jumping, I have to do only this. Jump, join the walk keyboard key with the ray sensor key. So if the ray sensor is not activated, I can walk. Let's see what happened. 
if I jump and push and I push W, my charter is not working. It's only working when uh, the charter reach the floor. Okay, you can see like this. Uh huh. Obviously, if I'm running before to jump, the two velocities uh, get added, added, and I can get, I can reach the stair. But here, here we go. The problem that if I want my charter don't work while it's jumping, we have this problem. In some points, uh, if we reach a edge, a border, a line, the cube, the ray sensor is not detecting the floor, but really the cube is touching the edge, so it's not falling. Okay, so uh, my charter get stuck in the line in the border. We can solve this in two ways. Maybe the simple and the uh, ugliest one is to reduce the the cube or the, the radio, radius here, mm, here. So make the contact uh, surface smaller. So let's see what happened. I have to uh, get up the, my character. Okay, let's see. I have to get running. I don't like this one. If I select the armature and I go up a little bit, the armature, my charter is not uh, under the floor anymore. So if I jump now, whoops, that's the problem. Uh, that's the <laughs> ugliest part part of the this solution because. If I reduce the radius, I have problem with the collision, uh, as you can see now. So I'm going to leave the radius to one. I think was one is enough. And I'm going to make uh, in Logic Bricks that my character can walk a little bit, only a little bit, while is uh, flying, while is while is not touching the floor. So in this way, if I get stuck, I can walk a little bit and. Uh, reach uh, uh, reach the floor and go out to the stack it way the stack it mode okay so what i have to do is uh, add uh, mm, okay let's see i have to use a expression controller because i want a, a new motion actuator i want my charter work only I'm going to use servo. Uh, the normal working have uh, this velocity, uh, uh, five, uh, negative five, minus five. Okay, and I'm going to uh, set now to only one, minus one or negative one. Okay, uh, like this, like this, like this, like before, okay? But I want this motion get, uh, activator if keyboard work is uh, positive is pressing I'm pressing the W key and the ray sensor is not activator okay I mean I'm jumping I'm flying so I have to use the expression and the expression works like this I join this and I join this and I'm going to say uh, if I think it's like that, uh, sorry, it, not if I I don't have to put if only the expression. Okay, the expression is uh, the name of the sensor. So I want the sensor work to be true, and the this one, the ray sensor, to be false and. If work is true and ray is false, it's going to uh, make this actuator to make act the actuator to make work this, okay? And this I, uh, is uh, that I can work in the air just a little bit. So let's see what happened. 
if I push P now, and uh, this make two things. I can reach the stair like this. I don't need to uh, get velocity, so I can jump and later a little bit get the stair like this. Jump um, a little bit, and I don't get stuck anymore. If I reach the border, I can a little bit be stuck, but I uh, finally I fall. So this 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 is the solution for the uh, the problem to be uh, stuck it okay to get freeze or frozen in the border okay so that's all that's the way we can make our character jump thank you uh, for watch uh, the tutorial sorry for my english i hope you can enjoy the tutorial i hope you can understand my english see you in the next tutorial